For this one, we have a clamped string uh, oscillating at its fundamental frequency. So it looks like that, and half cycle later, it looks like that. And it's oscillating near an open closed tube. So if the string is right at a at a um, uh, a fundamental frequency of the tube, it'll make it oscillate really large, and you'll hear the sound. Is basically what happens. So we're told a little bit about the string, a little about the tube, and we're asked what's the tension in the string. Right? So we got to work our way back. So. We're going to start by finding the frequency that this is all happening from the tube. So strings are always closed closed because they're always clamped. Tubes can have various kinds of modes and we're told this thing is hitting the second harmonic or the second frequency of the tube in its open closed tube. So if you want to think about those modes, you can say, well, I know open closed if I plot the pressure uh, versus position like this. You don't have to do this, but say you're going to plot pressure versus position. At the open end, it's always at atmospheric pressure, but at the closed end, it can change. But we're not at the fundamental, we're at the, the second frequency. So it would look something like this. Here it would go big, and it would go through zero, and then you would end up with something far from atmospheric here, where this is the atmospheric pressure. So that's what the mode looks like if you like to visualize modes. If you want to calculate the frequency, let's get the frequency from that tube. We know that for um, an open closed tube, the wavelength is uh, 4L over M. For M equals 1, 3, it's just the odd numbers. Right, so uh, it's, a, you know, the, the tube length is a fourth of the wavelength if I did just the fundamental, but then it's 3 fourths, 5 fourths, etc. So let's see, that's the wavelength. Uh, for some m, but if we wanted the frequency for some m, you always just take the velocity and divide by that, right? So that would be uh, v m over 4 l m equal 1, 3, 5, etc., etc. So now the notation can get a little tricky, right? This is the case where the second frequency is m equals 3, so it's tempting to call that the m means mode, it's m equals 2 mode, but that's not what that m means. So this is a case where you have to be careful. We could say f2, the second frequency, is f of m equals 3 in this case, because it's open closed and it's just the odd m's. And anyway, that turns out to be uh, 3v over 4l. Okay? So if we plug in our numbers, that's 3 times 340 meters per second is the typical over 4, and then the length of the tube is uh, 0.85 meters meters, and for my numbers I get 300 hertz. So that's the frequency of the uh, second uh, harmonic we're exciting here in the tube, and it must also be the frequency of this string. Alright, so now let's apply to this to the string. Alright, let's see. Well, for the string, it's closed closed, it's clamped at both ends, it's basically closed closed. Lambda m equals uh, 2L over m, where m can equal all the integers, 1, 2, 3, etc. Right, even and odd. So we know it's the fundamental, it's lambda 1. Lambda 1 equals uh, 2L, and do we know L? Uh, yeah, we know L. Therefore, we also know, though, that uh, F1, the frequency is just V over 2L. Okay, so we know all that stuff. Well, we know L, we don't know V. That's what we're sort of working towards here. Um, so what we want to do is say, yeah, here we go. So we know the frequency, we know L, we need V, because V is how we're going to get the tension. Right? The tension is the square, or the velocity is the square root of tension over mass density. So I think the best way to go here is to um, solve this for V, and then set that equal to square root of T over mu. So V equals uh, F is 300 hertz times 2 times the length of the string was 0.24 meters. Right. So for V, I get 144 meters per second. Right. So now we have the speed of a wave in the string. And that's equal to square root of T over mu. 144 meters per second 
square root of tension over the mass density, which is 25, but be sure to convert it to kilograms. So it's 0 0.025. All right. Same to square both sides. When you square 144, that's actually called doing the gross gross. If you've never done that before. And you'll square both sides, you'll multiply by 0 0.025, and the tension you get is 518 newtons. So that's a case where we used the two definitions of velocity. We use the fact that it's frequency times wavelength, and we use the fact that it's the square root of t over mu for a string.